It still feels like it was yesterday. I was 16 years old and I was in 4th grade. On a normal school day, I suddenly felt all eyes on me. I heard people whisper and laugh. I didn't understand what was happening. Until I realized what was going on. My ex-boyfriend had forwarded my sexually oriented images to the whole school. The whole village, the whole world. At least, that's how it felt for me. Everyone in school has seen me in my most vulnerable form. People laughed, yelled and swore at me. It was like a living hell. But also at home, my personal safe space, people didn't leave me alone. People sent me endless amounts of hate. All those mean things that people sent me, I just couldn't take it anymore. Not only because of the pictures that have been exposed, but I thought I could trust my boyfriend. He was a few years older and I was totally in love with him. So sometimes he asked if I wanted to send sexual explicit pictures and videos to him. Of course I did it because I trusted him, I loved him and I didn't want to lose him. But afterwards I realized that he used me. That he never really loved me like I loved him. Perhaps I was too young or too naive, but the blame is on him. Not on me for taking those pictures, but on him. Because he was a person who abused my feelings, who broke my trust. Only I didn't realize that at such a young age. My life fell apart. I was in a very fractured mental state. I didn't go to school anymore, could barely get out of bed, I didn't eat anymore. At some point I felt so bad that I even tried to commit suicide. Twenty-four percent of Belgian young people aged between 15 and 25 have already sent nude pictures or videos from themselves to someone. 1 in 5 already made an erotic home video and 26% of young people use the webcam for a virtual sex session. Don't send out erotic private footage that isn't yours, for it may seem like one simple click but it can ruin someone else's lives. Think before you click.